My 100-year-old ghost. My 100-year-old ghost sits up with me when the power cuts, tells about the trout at Unkey's Lake, the wood house burned on the hill. He says he was intimate with every leaf of grass, wore one hat for Griswold, another for his own field. The possibilities of the century laid out an endless string of fishing pools. But they never got ahead of my ghost. He took them like cows, one at a time, never lusted for the color of trout in a pool a mile away. He knew from the smoke in the sky Mrs. Johnson was starting supper. Ah. Mid-March, when the candles appeared, he knew Bobby's boy had died. My ghost only ever had one bar where the keeper didn't water his drinks, nor did he feel the need to hide his moth cap his potato clothes, or scrub itself first to think. My ghost tells me there was a time you'd look out and not find a dairy queen. You could sit on your porch a whole life, he said, and never, ever think about China. Sometimes I see my ghost bring cut sunflowers to his wife, and it seems so simple. Then, sometimes it is dark, He's just in from work, and Griswold says they ain't gonna raise his pay. And even back then, the power went out. Long nights, and they had no kerosene. And my ghost tries to sell me on simpler times. The grass soft, endless, lampless nights, pools of crickets singing. Okay. That's all. <laughs> I will be aware